Hey guys, Nick here. Today I'm going to show you how to add a dummy variable to your data set. So first off, we're going to start with this data set where we have our corporate owned store list. This is from a uh, previous video on how to join unrelated data sets. But you can check that out in the other video. So first, what we want to do is take this data set and add just a dummy variable. We want to add we're going to call it the dummy variable or just make it the number one. Um, and to do that, what we're going to do is go over to node repository and then look for the math formula node. We'll bring that over here. And then we're going to subtitle this as the dummy so we know that it's just the dummy variable. We're going to hook up our data set, get that connection going. We're going to double click to edit this node and it's as easy as this, right? Over here in this expressions field is where you where you um, set up your math expressions or functions, whatever you want to call them. For a dummy variable, all we're going to do is we're simply going to type in the number one. So what this does is for every row, it's going to add this expression, aka just this number one. Down here, you can either set this dummy variable to replace a particular column but in our case we just want to add a dummy variable so we're gonna append a column or add a column and I'm gonna title this DMY for dummy um, should I convert to an inter integer um, not in this case I don't mind that it's a string because I don't necessarily it won't necessarily be any actual math tied to it it's just a dummy variable so if anything leaving the convert to integer um, unchecked is almost like a fail safe so I know I remember not to do any math on that but anyways now that we have that number one typed in we have the new column name for it don't want it as an integer I'll hit apply hit OK and now you can see the node is yellow so it's it's been um, configured and I'm it's ready to be executed so I'll right click execute and now I can right click we'll go to output data and now you can see we have the original two columns as well as that dummy variable column and like I said that dummy variable all the all the expression did was it applied whatever was in the expressions field to every row within the data set since we only had the number one in the expressions field it's basically attaching a one to every row and then we named the column as DMY for dummy and that's how we did it so like always folks hit the like button subscribe share this video with your friends let me know if you have any questions in the comments and if you want to see anything in particular um, in the next few videos let me know and I'll I can put it together for us but anyways I'll catch you guys on the next video